Hello, this is Coach Rich Campy, Pro Advisor Coach. And today's Grin message, I am grateful for the freedom to start our own business. Uh, the whole idea of being an entrepreneur, just to do that is amazing, right? That we could have that freedom to express ourselves through what we do. And the intentional message is, take ownership. Take ownership. Who ate, who ate my paper? Who ate my paper? Who ate my paper? I don't know. Who could have done it? Who could have ate my paper? Anna, did you eat the paper? What's that in your mouth? Oh boy. Let's connect around taking ownership. Taking ownership. I mean, it really goes back to the beginning of time, right? Adam and Eve. So they're hiding. And God comes and says, hey, what's going on? Where are you? What's, what's happening here? Where's everyone? Right? And they discovered that they were naked, right? Because they ate of the apple. And God says, where are you? And, and Adam says, I'm here. And then God says, well, well, what happened? What'd you do? And he goes, she made me do it. Right? Pointing to Eve. And what does Eve say? The serpent made me do it. And everyone's pointing fingers and blaming everyone else. In fact, it's often said that anything we're working on in our life whatever that might be, if we have any tweak or twitch around the way we're feeling around someone else and what's there, that it's typically a point back at ourself of something we can work on and take ownership of. One thing Tony Robbins taught me very early on in my working with him is that for anything to change, I must change, right? How much power do we really have to change someone else? We don't. And so taking personal ownership of whatever that might be for us, whether that's our sales results or our health or our relationships, but really taking ownership and saying, what can I do? How can I be the change I want to see as Gandhi would say, right? So really focusing in on no matter what it is when we try to point out and blame someone else around something is taking ownership of it. And this is not easy to do. I mess this one up a lot. And it's really easy to, well, they have to change. They have to say they're sorry. They have to apologize. They have to this. They have to that. When that person does this, when the economy changes this, when da 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 as opposed to what can I do? And I can tell you through practicing this, just like working on a muscle, there's a personal piece that comes from that feeling of ownership. And it's really around that surrendering. Right, the serenity prayer of, of knowing, you know, what we can and we can't change. You know, having the courage to change what we can, and and the letting go that what we can't change, and and the wisdom to know the difference. And that's a powerful place because when we get to that place, then regardless of what's happening around us, when we really get to a place of ownership, it's kind of like putting our hand in the water versus trying to grab the water. Right, it's that ownership yet surrender at the same time to a higher purpose, a higher power. And when we get that, there's a calming that comes over us that surpasses all understanding. This is Coach Rich Campy saying thank you and I'm gonna keep working on take ownership. I don't know where you are on that, but that's what I'm gonna keep working on. Thanks. I will believe, not doubt. I will love, not fear. I will empower, not enable. I will respond, not react. I am intentional, congruent, and patient. I'm a catalyst for health and healing in myself and others. I direct my physiology, questions, and focus to be the best for me and others. I will apologize promptly when I am wrong. I will give myself and others grace. I will forgive myself and others. I am grateful, joyful, and humble. I only compare myself as I am to myself as I used to be. I will continuously move in the direction of my higher power. I am a force for good. I am a force for God. Step up. Set a new standard. Step up. Step up.